DA Viva. Pambil, DA Pambil. Democrats, I am so excited to address you one final time today. DA KZN member of the provincial legislature Mbalin Tuli has resigned after occupying the position for almost three years. Ntuli has a political career that spans almost 15 years in which she has ruffled feathers and made headlines. Here's a look at her political career. She graduated from the DA Young Leaders Program in 2008, after which she returned back to KZN and was elected as the party's provincial youth chairperson. She became DA Youth Federal Chair in 2010 and became a councillor in Inanda in the Etegwini municipality the following year. In 2013, she became DA Youth Federal Leader the following year. She was elected to the KZN legislature after the general elections. A notorious relationship with the party's federal Council Chair Ellen Zilla saw Ntuli facing internal disciplinary charges in 2017 after she allegedly liked a comment on social media that referenced Zilla as being racist. Ntuli would later take up the position of DA Provincial Campaign Director in 2018. Following the 2019 elections, she was moved from COCTA to her current position as DA KZN Public Works Committee member. Ntuli launched her run for DA Leadership Campaign in February 2020 with the intention to change the status quo in the party's leadership. She accused the party of having a cult-like behavior associated with big personalities and attributed that as the reason why a lot of black leaders had resigned. She was then accused of attempting to destabilize the party during her campaign. Ntuli dismissed claims that she would resign should she lose the race for leadership. Her exact words being, whether I win or lose, I plan to be here for this entire fight because I think it's really important. Ntuli resigned on the 17th of March 2022.